to welcome everyone to this beautiful location for this very momentous occasion. We are here today to celebrate Rebecca and Zachary, celebrate their individuality, who they are as a couple, and who they will become as husband and wife. Rebecca, I love you. In the presence of friends, family, and most importantly, our Heavenly Father, Rebecca, I choose to be your husband. As Christ loves the church, I vow to love you. Long ago, you were just a dream and a prayer. Today, it's real and special. I vow to always encourage you, uplift you, and strengthen you. Even though you desire pineapple on pizza, I vow to stay with you through the great and the most challenging times. Thank you for being what you are to me. I would not be doing this alone. It's by God's grace and his power that worketh within me that I vow to put my whole heart and soul into our marriage. I thank God for you. With our future as bright as the promises of God, I vow to care for you, honor you, and protect you all the days of my life. Zachary, it is hard for me to put into words all the things you mean to me. Years ago, I prayed for help to find a man that was patient, loving, and most of all, not to be nice, but to be kind. I prayed for patience so they could deal with my ADHD and anxiety and know that I'm difficult to change. You show that every day when I ask a million and a thousand questions about our plans for the day or I have a freak out about a big change. And you let me do that. And you hold me tight until I calm down. I prayed for a loving partner because I needed a partner who would fight for love to always win. When I got scared of us in our future and I broke it off, you did not give up. You fought for us. I prayed for a kind partner over a nice partner because I read once that the difference between nice and kind is a nice person does the right thing when everyone's looking. A kind person does the right thing when no one's looking. You always do the right thing, no matter who sees it or how big or how small it is. You are the answer to my prayers. And to you, I vow four things. I vow I will always work on patience with our relationship and let it grow at its own way. I vow to fight for love to win and never give up as easily as I once did when I got scared. I vow to always try and be a kind person to always do the right thing for you, our relationship, and our family, no matter how big or little it is. And my last vow is I'll always buy strange new root beers and bring them home for you to try. Now, as many people know, I'm a preschool teacher. So the last thing I want to tell you, Zachary, is I'll love you forever, I'll love you for always, as long as I'm living, my hubby you'll be. first told me your name I didn't hear a word you said Bet it was written all over my face Should have known it was you I would love until the end So by the authority vested in me by American Marriage and Ministries and the great state of Arkansas I now pronounce you husband Every moment stole my breath Bet you could see it in my smile Should've known it was you I would love until the end I don't know where this road leads All I know is I wanna go with you Okay. 
into my eyes When our time down here is spent It's in every single line Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end 